Hey there, Virgo, and thank you so much for joining me here for your new moon through full moon reading for March 13th through March 28th reading. I am really excited about this reading for you, Virgo. Um, we have been getting some really cool messages with this um, four card spread that we're doing because I have done so much um, recently, such deep dives um, with the full moon, with the stargate, with the divine feminine, divine masculine. If you follow my channel, there's a lot there recently. Um, with this, it's much um, more targeted, more precise in our messages that we're getting, and I'm really enjoying it. We're working with four different decks. First is the Moonology Oracle, then it's Sacred Geometry, and then it is the Kim Cran's Archetypal Oracle that we're working with as well. And then we're working with the uh, Angel Tarot, but just the Major Arcana. So I pulled out the Major Arcana, which is the Archangels for this deck, and um, we'll be getting their message too. So one of each of these cards will give us your message for this time period. Virgo from New Moon today, the 13th, and I was not guided to get into these energies to pull cards for this until this afternoon, until today, into the New Moon um, energies and getting out. We're just landing from our Stargate um, from 3-3 to 3-13. So again, if you're new to Stargates or what that means, we do have them monthly. Please watch my video on Stargates on this channel. And without further ado, let's get into the reading Virgo. So first card we're going to get is our Moonology card. Oh, I, this one right here on top. Okay. Let's see, what did we get? Your dreams need a practical plan. Your dreams need a practical plan. Virgo, okay, full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. I'm feeling like there is a lot coming through. Um, energetically, physically, emotionally spiritually and maybe overwhelming and, and you're just kind of like what do I do with all this um how do I put this in into any kind of real thing what do I do with this information a lot of information coming through and you're just like what do I do with this your dreams you know even your dreams I'm seeing have been more vivid more robust maybe even overwhelming and confusing to you Virgo Oh, I love this. We have card number 42, Joy. Create joy and happiness. Oh, what a cool card. Let's dive right in with our Sacred Geometry Virgo. Card number 42, Joy. I love this. And these are part of the um, the common cards. The, she has these like creational common platonic solids. Um, she has these just kind of like divvied up in an interesting way here. Okay, there's Joy. And this is a very new Oracle deck to me. Um, I've not seen this card before, like many of these I've not seen before. Um, but I'm really excited about this. Um, your dreams need a practical plan and Joy. So it's, so it's like I was thinking here, before we get into this, it was like, there's all this stuff coming in and it's all like exciting or overwhelming. It has to do with magic, spirituality, alchemy, this kind of thing. Um, and it's just like, what do I do with this? So let's get into here, into this. Create joy and happiness. I deserve to be happy, most definitely. When this card appears, it lets you know that you are on the right track. Joy and happiness are yours for the taking, Virgo what it is you are rejoicing and feeling happy and content about. Something right now is giving you great pleasure in your life. Maybe there is great stability in your home life or a new and promising personal or professional partnership. It could even be that everything you have asked for has fallen into place and you are feeling overjoyed. Success is yours for the keeping. 
and sacred geometry. Focus on the orange I I just say this slowly. Icosa icosahedron in the middle of the octahedron. It is a representation of the start of our intuition, deals with our creative side, and nurtures the concepts and ideas we give birth to so that we can bring to fruition all our desires. The octahedron pertains to the heart, and the heart is a, is a powerhouse unto itself. As our heart opens to acceptance and love, the electromagnetic field surrounding it gets stronger and stronger. Our heart chakras are meant to be um, ever opening and expanding. They're, they're one of our two chakras and so is our third eye chakra and our heart chakras are meant to constantly be on a receiving and opening, getting bigger and bigger and stronger and higher in vibration. So it's important to tap in with that dog is doing something weird um yeah so heart love unconditional love that kind of thing healing energy too um so you are on track and the fruits of your labor are now being seen don't stop now when we trust ourselves and our intention of what we want to create joy and happiness abound keep your mind and heart focused and on track Put your will and desire into action and remember that thoughts are powerful. Your belief system creates the empowerment needed for success to be achieved. Contentment is, where, is there for the taking. So card numerology is joy 5 and happiness 44. And crystal suggestions, citrine or or pigment, I've never heard of that. Carnelian, I know that one well. Um, Cacozenite, peridot, and tangerine quartz. Okay, so yeah, so hearing here a couple times about dreams, happiness, the future, um, contentment, success, um, creativity, all this stuff with this joy card, um, and your dreams need a practical plan. To me, this is just talking about like all this creative energy and like what you're going to do with it. And, and, um, uh, don't stop now. The fruit of your labor, um, is now being seen. I'm even hearing like trusting, trusting your dreams, trusting your intuition, trusting that whatever's coming through for you recently about who you are, what makes you happy, what you're tapped into, what's real, what you need to be doing with your life, this type of stuff. The more you lean into that, the more that you're, you, you leave denial, you'll feel joy. The more that you're like, that's not me you know, that, that, you know, can't be right or whatever, um, about yourself, the less joy you'll feel, the more that you lean into those feelings of this self, which we're going to get into now with these cards, with the archetypal cards for the self, this is going to help us a little bit here to kind of sort this out. Um, this card here. Uh, but yeah, this is about really stepping into like sacred wisdom kind of thing. Oh, the hunter, the hunter. Look at that Virgo. <laughs> I like this. This is interesting. This is interesting. Okay. Let's see what we got here for card number nine the um the hunter interesting energies here with the hunter with this joy and dreams need a practical plan let's see okay the seeker the pursuer the predator the hunter hunts they are on a precise mission with an aim to return home empty-handed would be to fail, which is not an option in the hunter's eye. This archetypal journey far and wide, seeking the prize that calls to its heart or stomach. 
tales of bravery and feats of strength often result, creating a life full of adventure. The hunter is skillful, quick, decisive, and results-oriented. Like the great hunting goddess Artemis, who carries her quiver upon her back, the hunter typically has a weapon of choice. When this card appears, it is critical that you ask three questions. What am I hunting? Why am I hunting? Is the weapon I hold so tightly in my grip truly needed for the task at hand? Oh my gosh, I love this so much. When light, focused, energized, respectful, seasoned. When dark, irresponsible, uh, violates, violent, and poaching. Go deeper with Frida, Cor Frida Kahlo's The Wounded Deer. And the study of Greek and goddess, the Greek goddess Artemis uh, sorry, study the Greek goddess Artemis. Notice her nuanced relationship to the moon, the earth, and the feminine. The predator honors its prey with a precise and skillful hunt. The hunter deeply reveres the life it aims to take. When you activate the hunter archetype, you are aligning your energy with the great creatures of the world, the lion, the wolf, the tiger, the shark, do so with care. Oh, wow. Powerful energy. Going after it. Going after that joy. Going after your dream. Having a plan. Like a, a plan. A, your dreams, Hunter, needs a practical plan is what it's saying here. And oh boy oh boy oh boy i'm seeing this like I, I love these three questions let's backtrack just a little bit here um what am i hunting why am i hunting it and what is the weapon so what are you going after what is going to bring in your joy and what is going to bring in that that sense of completion um because this if you look at this here it's complete. It's it's got everything going on um, on all corners, on all sides, and on the inside. The hunter is searching. The hunter is looking for for the the missing pieces, for what it needs to complete itself, and that needs a practical plan to to find that. So yes, what are you searching for? What are you hunting, and um, why are you hunting it? On the reverse, are you are you being hunted? Is something coming after you? What is trying to get your attention? And what kind of tools or messages are being used to come through to you? Interesting. It's also a nine, so that's a light worker card. We got 42, that's a six. We have a six and a nine. Interesting, interesting. Huh, very powerful energy here. Joy, dreams, the hunter. Let's see what we get here. Release with Archangel Azrael. The end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation, and time to move on. So this really makes sense. Release is also um, known as the death card. I'm going to verify here because I can always forget this stuff, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, death and rebirth with the release card. Um, so in Angel Tarot, they just named a few of the cards differently, and I'm always kind of tripping that up. So this would traditionally be the death card, so the de death renewal. But in Angel Tarot, it's called release with Angel, or sorry, Archangel Azrael. The end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So here we are. So I'm really feeling that with this spiritual transformation, the hunter going after something different, going after and being and being hunted to go after something different, something something it is is like your your energy has shifted and it's like you're it's like okay like. This is where I was going. This is what I'm after. This is, and it's like, you may have even gotten there and you're just like, oh, <laughs> okay. Well, this is nice and all, but <laughs> I need to keep moving because actually what I just got after, what just, what I just accomplished or where I just, you know, arrived at or what, what just came through or whatever that is, whatever that is, it did make you happy, but it's kind of like, it made you more happy in 
thinking about it maybe maybe the idea of it of whatever it is and it could be a job it could be a person it could be a home and it could be a circumstance where you're just like i thought like it would make me happier than it is but it's not and i need to keep pushing forward there's more there's this isn't it this was a piece of me getting to a certain point a certain place but this isn't it and i need to keep moving i need to keep you know going for that um for that it's like you, what you've done so far is great where you've gotten to but it's like now what it's like this really strong you know bull with this taurus full moon saying all right we're here we got to this one point and now what what's your dreams now where are you going what are you what are you going after and what are you going to use to get there uh <laughs> a new stage is coming up for sure with this with this period new moon to full moon so i implore you virgo um First off that's coming through here is please check out my star um, Stargate meditation video, the integration video. There's information there for you, I'm being told, um, that will help you as far as the divine masculine, the divine feminine, um, uh, as well, those videos that I did recently. I'm hearing to tell you to go back to the new moon reads for last month because they're still relevant this month. And I'm pretty sure I did those by element. So so go go with that and um just know that you're you're ready you're ready to to turn the page for the new chapter to level up you you you've gone where you're at kind of as far as it, it's gonna go and really looking to move forward hunting for new energy hunting um but the 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 question here is what what feels right to you what is going to be your tool, your your space? Um, what's going to help you sort stuff out and just bring up? Remember, dreams need a pra practical plan. So, whatever it is that you're thinking about dabbling into, I'm hearing go for it. Check out these different things that are going to lead you closer to who you are. Your soul coming out and talking to you and leading you in different ways um, that maybe you've been avoiding. You've been in that like I'm not. I'm not ready to release yet. I'm not ready for this new rebirth yet. But it's been like inching forward, itching forward, inching forward. Um, and even though you may have had like things like I've, I'm on this path and I've got this set up and this is all going and da 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 like I said before it could be that like as that's really coming into play you're just like or the longer you're there you're like no this isn't gonna do it for me I need more I need different I need to really you know to me this is just like running into your soul yourself your um, you're hunting the truth is really what it feels like to me and you're ready for the truth in a whole on a new level so things can really come in and start clickety click clicking and that will really ground you and make you feel better because I think for a while it's kind of been like the more I know that's of this higher dimension spirituality metaphysics energy healing knowing channeling all this stuff like the less grounded i'm going to be when i think you're finding that the more you get into that because that's what's really true and natural for you the more you're going to feel grounded and centered and have that joy be very happy so it's almost like the thing that you were avoiding because you thought that that would destabilize you you're finding that look at everything is stable in there and that's where the sweet spot is that's where it's going to feel really really good for you 
Okay, Virgo, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that these messages resonated with you. Again, please follow the guidance. Check out those other um, videos, and um, I hope they guide you further. Thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.